What's up today my fellow man of soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is going over the top 10 budget beasts in Madden 23. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So just so you guys know, I know some of you guys may have different uh, budget beasts than uh than what I'm going to show you guys because it it just depends on what you guys had available and they may work OP for you in the beginning or maybe even now and if you guys do, put at least your top one or two budget beasts that you guys have used or are currently using in the game right now right um before i continue on and then you guys are going to see who i'm going to pick also i want to give a big shout out to 49 giant warriors for being part of the noti gang i'm going to start doing that now i'm going to start bringing the noti gang to uh to my channel so any of you guys that want to get shout out please hit please make sure you like comment subscribe and um, hit noti game in the comment section and then um i'll make sure that i'm gonna go through and pick one of you guys out each and every time i do a video so now let's go ahead and uh, continue on So I bought like nine of these players. I mean, eight of these players I got on my squad. Two of them I don't got. So I'm gonna go at towards the end and show you guys who they are. And the reason why I got quite a bit of these players on my squad right now is because I've never gotten rid of them, right? I just have them there. Even if I don't use them, you never know. I might want to use them later or so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first one that I have. I actually went through. I'm gonna show you guys right now. The uh, these are in no particular order. I'm just gonna go over the top 10. We're just gonna start off with Kyle Pitts. And the reason I bring him up, I have used him, you know, as you can tell, I have an ability on him, not that OP of ability. You just put it on him because in the beginning, I did use him. This card right now, um, I play with them here and there, but what really wanted me to do this is because, first of all, when you guys brought him up to me, and I totally forgot about him in one of my other videos. And just going to the fact that me playing against them and remembering, people are still using this card to this day. And this guy right here is frustrating to play against. I'm going I'm to tell you guys that right now. He's very frustrating to play against. And he's a playmaker. Even as an 85 overall, this already far into the game. A lot of people are still using him. And he's a great budget beast. Coming in at 84 speed. 85 catching, 85 catching traffic, 83 spectacular, 85 short route, 85 medium route, 58 run block. But what makes him, I think, very vicious is his height, which is 6'6". Six, six, and then he comes with 85 jumping, right? Because you see some of his other stats, like his spectacular is only 83. So it, on the surface, it may not look like he's going to be that great of a card. But playing against him and knowing that some of these guys frustrated me with this card. And like I said, a lot of you guys already know this. This guy is a budget beast. I just want to put it out there. So if you if you if you guys got him or you guys are working on getting a tight end, you need someone for now. He's de de definitely be one of the ones I will go after. All right. Once again, like I said, there are no particular order. I'm just going. I'm just going through different uh, cards. But the next one I want to go through is actually a cornerback. Where we go? Put it in the tight. And it's not, it's probably not who you think I'm going to go for. Meaning that I'm pretty sure you guys have like different ideas of cornerbacks you're going to go for. Like say Stephon Gilmore because he is free. And I, I would consider him in a sense a budget beast because he's free, right? But I'm not even going to go with him because I'm going to go with someone right now. Uh, like that you could get right away because uh, the majority of you guys got him. But if you need someone like right away, like hurry up and get him, whatever the case may be. Um, get some solos done and all that stuff. I'm going to go because people are still using this card to this day, is this Randy Moss right here. I know there's other cards. You got this Trayvon Diggs. You got Denzel Ward, Jahir Alexander. You got some of these other cards that are actually pretty decent, especially as Deion Sanders, right? Okay, so there are other good cards, but I want to go with this, um, this Randy Moss because I feel that he don't get enough credit. And the reason why I say that is because it says right here, um, ability buckets. It, it has like different... Uh, discounted abilities right for this card what makes him op he also comes with let me go ahead and go over here he comes with mid zone ko for two ap so he actually look at deep out zone ko for three ap pick artist for two ap he has some good ability slots and discounted uh, abilities so that's what makes him good as as well as the fact that he's six four as a cornerback even though at this time currently he only has 85 speed and there's a lot of more speedsters in the game i'm telling you guys right now this card right here, people are still I return kicks with them, punts with them, um, plenty of pick sixes like off the top, especially in the beginning when I used them. So that's why I picked this card because not only is he free, and you know he and he's a little below a low overall, so I consider him a budget beast. But he's free though, so I mean it's not really a budget beast because he's free. Budget beasts are more for so like you know a card that you have to go buy for like a little bit of coins, but 
I'm gonna add him to him because he's free, and you get him for uh, playing the get him for playing solos. So that's that's to me that's a, the all matter solo. So that's a big plus right here, knowing that you can get him right away, unless you quick solo him because I don't I don't. <laughs> Um, a lot of my players, I don't, if they, especially if they're like B and D's, I don't quick sell them because later on you never know if I might need them or I might do some type of challenge or I might do other things. You just never know. I might have to use them for a while because I might get rid of another card and I might have to rely on them. And I'm telling you right now, if I did, I wouldn't mind using them because he is a great budget beast, right? Coming in at 6'4 with that 87, uh, 85 speed, 87 jumping. All right, the next one, and this is the one I bring up a lot. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how like how, how he's been working for you guys, but for me, insane, man, insane. This guy is insane. Where is he at? Right here, Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith, every single time I put top 10 players, whether it's budget beast or not, he just happens to be a good, decent budget beast. Or you could get him for free for playing the solos or completing objectives when it came to the Gridiron Garden solos, however you want to go about getting them, right? The thing is you go go get them if you want him. And this guy right here, what I like about him, and I don't even know about his stats, right? Let's see his stats. So his stats are actually pretty decent, right? But what makes him great is that when you have him out there, you can either use him or have him out there as a strong safety. Either one is good because his animation is insane. Like I said, I, I use him at times. And when I use him and the ball comes near him, I don't even have enough time to register the fact that the, that the ball is even that close or he threw the ball. I, I can't even like click that fast. And this card's already animating and picking it off. And I just go with it and run it to wherever I got it. Most, majority of times it's a pick six. Sometimes I just intercept the ball, whatever the case may be. But in the end, this card right here has to not only be a, one of the top cards in this game when it comes to this position, but a good budget beast, right? Because his animation is just crazy, man. But his stats also are pretty decent. At 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 tackle, 86 play rec. 74 man that man's not all that but 87 zone 89 hit power right with that 90 jumping coming in at 62 so some of his other stats ain't all that great but i'm telling you right now this guy plays insane on my team and anytime i do one of these videos i'm not gonna lie until i find someone else that animates like him he's probably always gonna be in one of my top 10 videos or whatever the case may be all right the other one that i do want to pick that i know uh i played against uh, people still use him now people still use him now um and they also used him in the beginning and he's still a good card it's just justin simmons right this 85 overall justin simmons um and what makes him good is his high he's he's six two right which is pretty decent but not just that it just he just seems to be a good card in general always i always see people getting picks with him no matter what even now to this day um, people bury building a team or they just may may not feel like hey I'm not even tripping off the other safeties. He's doing just fine until I until I could get another one They hold on to him because this card right here is a great budget piece I had him in the beginning and he and he worked. I mean if I put him in right now He's gonna work good, but I just happen to get I, I just want like if I got a um, Ronnie lot. I'm just a fan of Ronnie lot. So I wanted him once he went low. I bought him. That's what it is, right? But I'm telling you right now, he probably plays just as good. Ronnie Lott probably plays a little bit better. Um, what? I, but Ronnie Lott's a hard hitter, though, right? This guy only got 79 hit power. But besides that, though, he's, he's good out there in coverage. He makes it happen, and he's a good budget beast coming in at 84 speed. 86 acceleration, what makes that speed a lot more faster. 83 play rec, 78 man, 84 zone, and 79 hit power. So his stats don't even look all that, right? But his card is actually a pretty OP card when it comes to being a budget beast with that 86 jumping and 6'2". And if you guys used them and have used them, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So now let's go to a position that a lot of people don't talk about. But the only reason I want to talk about this card is because what he's able to do and because a lot of people scum kick it when it comes to kickoffs. He makes it happen. This Jim Taylor. There's probably other fullbacks, you know, that might, that might be able to do it. But this Jim Taylor right here, I, I, I mean, I kick it over there because I don't want no one returning it to me at times. So I do the same dang thing. When I kick it to the fullback, I kicked it to this guy once and I was like, okay, whatever. He returned a kick on me. I was so, I was mad, but then I was happy. But I was like, hold on here. What, what kicker, what fullback is that? And then I seen, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get him too because he's just, and I returned a kick. I, re I returned a lot. But I, you can't, oh, you're not always going to return every single time. But I at least return about three uh, kick returns, right? No punts because I don't have him as my punter uh, return. I have him as a kick return. And uh, 
yeah, this guy right here, he's not even that fast. And he's return kick. So, yeah, I put him on the squad. Coming in with A3 speed, A6 uh, strength, A3 awareness, 81 carry, 76 catch. You look at his stats are not even all that 80 lead block. It's not even 85 jumping. The stats are not even that OP, but this card plays OP. So, I have to bring him up because he's one of the positions that a lot of people don't, don't really care or talk about. But it's very vital, especially when you on, on kickoffs, when people kick it to your fullback. Yeah, you can put a half pack right there if you want to, but some people just don't. If you just want to have a fullback just to end it right there, he's going to be a good one right there. All right, so the next card I'm going to talk about, there's two different cards, right, um, when it comes to this position. And I'm going to speak about both. Um, but the, uh, the new one that I'm going to speak about, that's a budget beast, and then you could get them for free just by completing the Nike Objectives. Is this Bo Jackson, man? This 86 Bo Jackson is crazy. And he's only gonna get better because I think it said monthly or whatever the case may be, there's gonna be new objectives in the Nike program. And as long as you complete them, he's gonna he's gonna go up in overall, right? So I got him right here. Look at his attributes: 88 speed, 86 acceleration, 83 agility, 82 carry, 67 catching, 83 change of direction. Look at this. 86 trucking, 86 break tackle with the 87 jumping, 87 stamina coming in at 6-1. This guy right here is a goon for a budget beast. And to know he's only going to go up in overall is even better. Because even though he's an 86, he, he kind of resembles an 88 or higher. So I'm just overlooking the, the 86. And I'm going to look at him like an 88 overall. He can even go to 87, whatever the case may be. But this is a great budget beast. And once again, you connect your EA account to your Nike account. And you complete your four miles and you get this card. And there's going to be more objectives in that app through um, month by month. And he's going to go up in overall. And his stats are going to go up in everything else. So I'm going to have to pick him as the number one budget beast just because he barely came out. His stats are insane. But say, for instance, I, I don't want to do all that. I don't want to connect my... Um, nike app to my ea account you know some people just don't want to do that then i will go with this demarco murray off the top because i'm still going with demarco murray bo jackson will be my second but i'm gonna interchange them because i usually use two halfbacks here and there depending on what, what what play i start but i'm telling you right now if you don't want to go with bo jackson because you want to connect your account or you ain't tripping go with demarco murray you're not gonna go wrong this dude is a goon off the top all right so now i want to go to the receiver there's probably several receivers right and i even got some good budget beasts right um, you got Keyshawn Johnson, you got Jamar Chase, you got Gabriel Davis, the, this Devontae Smith. So you got some other budget beasts. So I want to I want to acknowledge this. You got this Julio Jones. So you got some other budget beasts, this DK Metcalf, that you can actually use out there right now in the game, and they will actually do pretty well. I used this Devontae Smith for a while, and he actually was pretty OP for me. Like I said, there's always several other budget beasts. Let me know which ones you guys like to use. But the one I want to pick out of number one overall will be the CD Lamb. It's because you guys know a lot of you guys use them. And you can get them for free for leveling up, um, I think, all the way to 31. At level 31 of season rewards, you get them for free right now because the season is not over with. And this guy right now, to this, gay, to this day, seems to be very OP. Well, not seems to be, I'm sorry. Is very OP. And he returns kicks, returns punts. He, he, he does spectacular catching, um, just hit everything, man. Just route running, all that stuff. And then he has good abilities and all that that you can add if you want to, right? I have one on him, and it's not even activated, which is mid any lead. But I do use it at times. And if you do have it activated, he's even better. Just to let you guys know that, all right? He's even better. But wait, okay, don't look at the speed, right? Because this is all my Cowboys team team. But by itself, he's only 86 speed. And he got, what, 85 jumping, right? So we're going to go off with that. 86 speed, 85 jumping, 85 catching traffic, 86... Uh, uh, 85 catching, 86 catching traffic, 87 spectacular, 85 short route, 86 medium route, and 85 deep route. So this card right here, his stats are actually pretty good, but the card plays even better, just to let you guys know that. And for those who've been using them, you guys know. All right. So I got to show some love for a linebacker because I got to at least have one linebacker in. And we got a new one, right? This actually a great budget beast. And what we're going to want to go over right now is this Anthony Barr. Once again, there's other ones, right? You go with Vaughn Miller. No, not this Joe Thomas. Daniel Hunter is good. He's pretty decent, but I wouldn't really say much about him. Um, and, then, and then there's other um, budget beasts, right, when it comes to left outside linebacker. But right now, what makes this guy insane is the fact that he's a great user if you want to use him and he's fast. 
and he got some good abilities too. Let's take off the speed. Once again, he's on my Cowboy theme team, so he goes all the way up to 89. But he comes with 87 speed. He comes with 85 accelerations. Uh, we'll say, uh, was it? 76 strength, 83 tackle, 81 play rate, 86 block shed, 81 power move, 85 finesse move. So there's other stats with there, like the, the block shedding and all that is actually pretty decent. But what I like about him overall is he's 6'5 with 87 speed. He got the uh, 84 jumping, right? The jumping's not all that, but he will be a great user. I, I, I usually use him as a user or I'll use him as a spy. Either one, he is a great left outside linebacker, and I would definitely recommend him, right? And you could get, you could get him for free for playing the ultimate um, kickoff challenges, or you could buy him. Either one, what you guys want to do. However you guys want to go about getting him. And then next, I'm going to go over these last two. I don't actually have them, so but I've used them. I use both of those. Um, I use One of them, I use both of the versions. The other one, um, I haven't used. But it's going. I'm going to go based on what what's going on here. But you guys already know, and it's going based on what everyone's uh, been saying. One of them, like I said, I used the other one I didn't, which I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to start off with the left end, which if you guys probably already know, I'm going to go down to. I'm pretty sure you guys already seen it in your head, what I'm going to go to. He's all the way down here. Well, I'm going to go to this one because people want to buy them, and then I can't finish what I'm talking about. But this Chase Young right here. And let me tell you guys, if you can't afford him, you know, because he's already like 135K, I'm only going to the top card he has. You could get his 83, and the 83 plays just as effective. What made me want to get him is because his 83 played so good on my no money spent team, right? Because I, ha I have a no money spent team. Um, I haven't been using lately, but I had it. And once his card came out, I completed the set, and I got him. But this card right here is OP. You cannot go wrong with this Chase Young. And uh, he worked, I mean, his icon right now is 83 alone was um uh causing pressure getting sacks and everything else coming in with 84 speed a6 acceleration a3 strength 86 tackle 81 play rec a6 block shift 79 power move um and 88 finesse move right um man and i'm telling you right now this car was insane um coming in at six five right the only reason i don't use them no more honestly is because you know i'm a cowboy fan i got a 50 out of 50 cowboy theme team i'm running and i end up getting demarcus lawrence because he's an 89 overall but if demarcus lawrence wasn't that high overall wasn't that good i would have got i would have kept chase young i'm gonna or i would have got him i should say i would have got chase young because he's a definitely a great budget beast whether the 83 or the 87 i would have used either one of them if i had to because they're both good cards so the last one we're going to speak about is going to be a quarterback and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know who i'm going to uh speak on and that is going to be where is he out here qb right here he's a little bit more than the, than the average uh overall his like see you, you got Mar marcus mariotto 87 with 80k Fitzpatrick is uh what 83 whatever like that so he's a little bit more than that even more than Patrick Mahomes but it's going to be this Aaron Rodgers all right if you're going to go with one you might as well go with the platinum run because he's 87 platinums go they quick stop for 140 and his other one right here that's not a platinum is going for 150 so I wouldn't even touch that I would just go ahead and get a platinum one if I was going to go with one but anyways you guys already know about this card he has a faster release in the game. A lot of people, even though there's a lot of higher overall cards in the game and probably people are using them, but when it comes to actually really competing, people are still using this card, this 87 overall Aaron Rodgers. It's not hard to get, like I said, there's other cards in the game. If you want a free one, get Tim Tebow. He's pretty decent, he's releasing all that, but he will win you games. But if you want someone that can actually really compete, that doesn't go for tons of coins like these other new QBs in the game, um, you, you're not going to go wrong with Aaron Rodgers at all, right? 87 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 87 mid, all straight across, 85 deep accuracy, 88 throwing the pressure, 87 throwing the run, and 85 play action. But what makes him real good, honestly, is not only these stats, but his release, which makes him insane, and his accuracy on throwing that ball and getting the ball off. But anyways, there are my top 10 budget beasts. Let me know what your top budget beasts are, if you're using them right now, or what you used before. I would like to know. And don't forget to comment Noti Game, because... Uh, whoever does, I'm going to make sure that I pick those people and I'm going to shout them out one um, one person every video that I do just to let you guys know that. But anyways, there it is there. Drop a like on the video. Until next time, I'm out.